the next person who's going to have a chat with us is someone clearly down with the kids. It's Dave Wright over here, who's, um, who's an avid Twitterer. Twitter? Twitter. Twit. Twit. Twit, yeah. <laughs> Oh, while Steve's setting this up, actually, there are three laptops at the back, four laptops at the back. If you're interested in having a look at any of the things that um, anybody's, uh, any of the presentations this evening, there is um, a Wi-Fi password, which is odd socks, and if you just pop your username in as guest, you should be able to navigate fairly easily through some of the things that we're talking about this evening, if you're, if you're, that, you know, if you're interested. We will be having a break um, half, roughly halfway through, so um, if you'd like to have a look at it at that point, that would be Okay, thank you. I'm, uh, I'm David Wright. Um, I work here at um, Bishops. I'm a science teacher. Um, and um, one of the things that I've um, played with is, is Twitter. Just literally just sort of like see how it goes. I did this this year. Um, I did a bit of a, um, an experiment with my, um, my year 10, so two year 10 classes. Um, they're um, both high groups, quite sort of like, um, they're nice groups, nice kids. Um, and um, they're quite keen. And I wanted to try seeing what um, I could sort of like how I could use this kind of technology to um, just to sort of like help them with really coming up to the exams. It was sort of like in that pre-exam period, um, I thought we'd just try and get a little bit of enthusiasm going. <coughs> the way Twitter works is that if you put a hashtag in front of something and you search for it on Twitter, here's a, uh, this is the Twitter feed at the moment um, from, um, is this your account, Matt? This is my account. Yeah, this is on uh, Matt's account. Um, and you, um, you get all these little um, Twitter messages coming through. But if you want to search for something specifically, you can put something up in that box there. And um, if you have hashtag, for example, TMBHBS, Teach Me BHBS, um, it will come up with all the um, comments that anyone's done anywhere in the world that contain the hashtag TMBHBS. What that means is that if, you, um, if, you want to have, if you've got any comments, for example, on tonight, um, about tonight's event, um, I thought hashtag TMBHBS was really rubbish. Um, you can just tweet that, and then um, when Matt later on said, Oh, I wonder if anyone's tweeting about me, then his little sad face will go, Oh, they're tweeting that it was rubbish. <laughs> okay, so, um, so don't do that. But it, it's a good way to search things. And what happens is um, people use that for um, sort of like um, for anything that they think is relevant. For example, they might um, put hashtag GCSE or hashtag GCSE science. Um, there's, um, there's uh, when I'm going on there, you, know, you tend to just try and guess, you know, what would people put on, hashtag biology or something like that. Um, but um, there are sort of like specific ones that people that tweet regularly use. Um, ed chat is one, which ed education chatting um, is one that a lot of people use. Um, another sort of like hashtag that's quite useful is the, um, um, the TES science, if you're, if you're science teachers. Um, TES put a load of stuff out and there's usually conversations going on between people. Um, the Ed Chat is actually uh, worldwide, so um, people will be sort of like, um, you know, from America and Canada and all over the world, they'll all be uh, chatting and all using the, uh, the hashtag Ed Chat. Um, I think there's even an Ed Side Chat as well that you can have sort of like specific science um, chats. I don't know whether there's sort of like other subject ones because I haven't looked, but I wouldn't be surprised, you know, just put in your subject with a hashtag in front of it and it will come up. Um, the way it works is that that is like a, um, a search thing that will be searched for. So you know all the other words in black, they won't be searched for. The names are always in at. Um, so you have at um, whoever my um, the Twitter feed that I use is at bhbs science. Um, and if you search for at bhbs science, everything that I've um, um, or any um, tweet that's got at bhbs science will come up. So everything that I've tweeted will be there for you to see. Um, I'll just tell you a little bit about um, what I think um, Twitter's good for. Um, it, it's a source of information, it's a massive source of information. Um, you know, it's sort of access to the, um, the whole of the, the internet. Um, fantastic things like the BBC News. Um, again, you know, I look at the science and technology, but they, they put up all sorts of stuff from um, all sorts of uh, you know, specific things that the BBC tweet about. Um, and then it'll be sort of like, it'll be so up to date. You know, that morning it'll be the Higgs boson particle or whatever's in the news. Um, the way I use that is that um, if I'm on my Twitter, that's one of the things that I would follow. So I'd follow the BBC Science Technology page, um, and then they give me um, all their feeds that are coming out every day. Um, and anything that I think is relevant, I can just sort of like just press one button, retweet, and it just goes out to all the people who are following me, which is basically these two um, year 10 groups. 
Um, so, especially if, it, if it's relevant. A lot of the time, I'll put something, you know, if I think it's interesting, which obviously is, you know, completely different to what they think is interesting. But, for example, yeah, the Higgs boson, you know, you, you speak to the kids and you say, did you see that Higgs boson thing on the news last night? And they go, no. And then you realise, oh, they don't watch the news. Okay. But, um, you know, you can, you, can, you can feed them this stuff that's, that's going on. Um, if we're doing, we've recently been doing um, DNA. So, if there's anything about cloning, there was a brilliant thing someone put up about... Um, it was like the top 10 animals that are likely to be cloned in the next like 10 years or something that are going to be brought back from extinction, you know, are oh, we going to bring T-Rex back? It was some news article somewhere, but we were doing about DNA. So I could put that out to my um, students sort of straight away, you know, rather than just mentioning, oh, by the way, did you know they're you know, going to bring the mammoth back to life? But you can sort of feed it right into their little lives, so they can get it on their phones when they're at home um, trying to talk to their friends. Um, Organisations use this a lot. Um, all the universities um, tweet stuff. Um, the Royal Institute, you know, all, every single scientific body you can think of, the Wellcome Trust, that, uh, God knows how much money they, um, they spend on all this sort of stuff, but they're, they've got, obviously, you know, departments that are um, just sort of like um, focused on putting out all this information, and it's really good information. And it's like, um, it's like either like reading all their periodicals and getting sort of like incredibly short little bursts of information about what they're talking about, um, and that ability to just send out to all the people that are following you, sort of thing. Uh, periodicals, you know, all the periodicals, Nature, New Scientist, Scientific America, um, whatever your particular interest in, um, the, those periodicals are pushing information out, and you can just sort of like you collect it all in, and you can push it out. <coughs> National Geographic do this thing where obviously they put out loads and loads of photographs. So um, if they put out a photograph that I think is cool, like, you know, a picture of a kitten or a koala bear or something, out it goes, you know. Um, into my um, students, these things. If you, if you are science teachers, periodic videos. Um, that's the um, Nottingham University um, department where they um, they've made the um, all the videos of the periodic table, um, which is an absolutely fantastic resource. But they um, they tweet anything new that they've done. So instead of having to like go to the site see if they've updated oxygen or something like that, they'll tell you when they've updated oxygen because it'll be there. Then um, the link will be there. In fact, the video will come up if there's a. Uh, tweet that's got the um, got video on it, you can just click and the video will come up in a little box on there. So you can look at it, you can see if it's any good. Yeah, it's good. Bang. Out it goes to all your students. Um, Minute Physics is another um, amazing guy. You've got to um, look him up. He just, um, I think he's Canadian, and um, he just does these cool little animations of explaining the most ridiculous things. He just starts off, what is gravity? And then after a minute you go, ah, that's what gravity is, right? Cool. And um, you know, he'll do the Higgs boson and he'll do you know, all sorts of crazy things, you know, um, is the world really round, that kind of thing. Um, and they're, they're really, really good. And obviously, they, you know, they're not the sort of thing that the kids um, are going to look for necessarily, but maybe if it's shoved into their phones, they're, like I say, they're there. They're trying to communicate with their friends, and then every now and again they get this annoying little thing from Mr. Wright that comes up that's telling them about the Higgs boson, and they go, oh, you know. But in like 30 seconds they can watch the, uh, watch the video. So that's quite cool. Um, the, I think there's two strand, strands to Twitter. There's the, um, the information that is relevant for the um, students, and there's this thing about um, how we can use it as teachers. Um, some teachers, they, they, they do it completely separately, those two things. They'll actually have a, um, a teacher identity and a, a student from identity. I've gone for it sort of like all mixed up, um, which I think is probably a bit, possibly not the right way of doing it. Um, because what happens is, if I see a, if I see some good resources that I think have come through that are really good, I'll actually tweet them, which means all the kids are getting them. But you know, it doesn't matter. Um, and then if I see something that I think is going to be good for my kids, like you know, a picture of a koala, I'll tweet that. And any teachers that are following me, then they have to look at a picture of a koala. But again, it doesn't really matter. Um, but you do get sort of like you get the, the it's like the cream floating to the top um, of all this stuff. Apart from me sending out junk. Um, you know, if, if people will say this is really good. Out it goes. Okay, so um, so then you know you get that bang. Out it goes again, and it's kind of it is a filtering process because um, you only send on what you think is good. So if more people send on the good stuff. Boom, boom, up it goes. Um, like I say, there's searchable things like Ed Chat, hashtag Ed Chat, and you get all these people from all over the world. And sometimes the Ed Chat will do um, specific things as well. They'll say tonight we're going to talk about blip, and if you're interested in blip, then um, off you go and you can sort of like see loads and loads of tweets. Um, about that subject. Um, so yeah, communicating between teachers. 
Um, and like I say, really possibly, because I've only been experimenting with it, maybe it should be something that's separated out, you know, maybe they should do the, um, the student-fronted thing separate to the teacher-fronted thing, but I've only got the one account, which is plenty for me. So, uh, so I do it all on one. Sharing, um, good practice, really. Um, communicating with students, this was brilliant. Coming up to the, um, the exams, I've had it on my board. At the top of my board, I've had the exam dates. You know, it's been written up there for like months. And the kids will say to me, when's our exam, sir? And you just go, like that. And then we later will say, when's our exam, sir? Like that. So you can tell them like 16 times um, when their exams are. And, you know, it's, it's sort of like, it's, it's you know, it's um, through a mud of the wall, isn't it? And the more times you do it, the more likely something is to stick. So um, I can just, um, I was, before the exam, I was tweeting, you know, one month to go. Uh, you know, two weeks to go, but, uh, and um, at least they were getting some feel of, you know, the, this impending doom, so, um, so that was good. Um, the, the students sort of like um, facing things, you know, revisiting the main points of the lesson, not just sort of like, um, um, like I say, sort of like feeding them stuff. If we've been doing about DNA, I can give them any sort of information. Sometimes I'll like search, you know, what are people saying about DNA? Okay, here's some good stuff. Um, revisiting the main points. Um, I think it's quite interesting, as a, um, just as an exercise, to try and condense an entire lesson down into um, 140 characters. Um, when we were doing the, um, the um, uh, calcium carbonate cycle, um, I had to sort of like try and condense every, everything in that down to sort of like 140 characters and, and sort of like doing different sections of it. But you have to be careful that every single section on its own makes sense, um, which was the trick of that. But, um, you know, you just, just bung it out and, and, you know, it's there for them to read. Um, sometimes they comment on it, you know, they'll come into the next day and say, hmm, so, uh, uh, you can give them warning of upcoming events and topics. I sent them out the other day, I sent this, um, it just said, good, the bad, and the ugly, and it had a link to the, um, the, the original trailer from the Clint Eastwood film, the good, the bad, and the ugly, and, um, you know, they, and then they come in the next day, and they say, what are we doing about these cowboy films? And so, because I hadn't even heard of that film, which is ridiculous, so clearly their education is lacking. But um, they said, what are we doing about cowboys today? Then so, I said, we're doing bacteria. And then they go, oh, good bacteria, bad bacteria, ugly bacteria. Okay. And um, that was the, um, the link there. And it just made them think. It just gave them something to, um, to, to have kids coming into your lesson and say, what are we doing about today is, is, is a nice thing. Um, and um, sometimes I'll, um, I'll say things like, um, I'll tweet, you know, if you want to find out about tomorrow's lesson, go here. And then they have to actually go somewhere. And some of them will. They'll, they'll go and look. Some of them are too cool. Some of them are too cool to let me know they're going and looking, and you know, obviously that's what they're all doing. Really. Um, so yeah, linking people into uh, interesting things. This was a really good thing that was um, running for a while. It was um, it was actually an Irish organisation that were running it, and um, I, I think it's stopped now. Science 140. But what they were doing was um, they were um, they send out a, um, an objective for everybody to tweet something scientific in 140 characters um, but on a specific subject um, and they, they had a slight focus on, on biology things um, and I think they were somehow related to some um, cystic fibrosis charity so they would say right today's topic is cystic fibrosis or today's topic is DNA or something like that um, what would happen then would be people from all over the world would be tweeting some comment on cystic fibrosis or um, some comment on, on DNA. And that was amazing because um, both of those things, you know, were in the um, curriculum and were in the curriculum when we were um, doing it. Um, they were doing it when we were doing it. Um, so you'd get these like experts from all over the world putting very succinct little pieces of information about cystic fibrosis or about DNA or about some other subject. And you get this in and you just send it straight back out. So I wouldn't even have to think about this. I could just send out all these little misses um, about these things. And um, if I was able to...